Hi, this is Lisa Zimmerman. I'm at Home Sweet Home in New York City. I've been talking to lots of clients and people lately, and I find that people are generally in one of three situations. See if you can relate to any of these. One, everything is working really well, life feels good, you feel good, and you're in the flow. If that's you, oh, I bow to you, I honor you, and it means that you're in alignment and perhaps in a period of grace where uh, you've made the changes you need to make uh, and, and you really are on a path of joyful creation. And isn't that what we all strive for? For many people, they are either experiencing some kind of struggle or they're in a place where life, everything may be technically okay, but life feels dry or empty, or maybe they're seeking some kind of meaning. Um, there's something missing, and you know it. And I'll tell you what, believe it or not, do you know that it's easier to be struggling than it is to be in a position where everything looks like it's working reasonably well, but you're in that space of feeling that something is missing or, uh, you know, the nagging question or doubt in your mind is, is, is that all there is? Is this all there is? Is this it? Oh, let me tell you, that's a very disconcerting place to be. When you get the things that you think will make you happy and you still don't feel it, it, it just freaks people out because then you're faced with a deeper question like what is missing? What is wrong? And often people think what is wrong with me? So right now Venus, planet of love, beauty, creativity, values, which means what you value and how you value yourself, is retrograde until the end of June. And Venus rules, in a bigger picture, what makes life worth living and what are your heart's desires. So my question to you is, what are your heart's true desires? Do you know? You may think you do, and maybe you do. But a lot of people really don't know. Um, they live in a space of thinking that, oh, when I get this, when I get that career, when I find the relationship, um, when I get this or that, then, then it's going to be good. Or they live from a place of guilt or fear of guilt, which is, I appreciate everything I have, and if I want more than that, then I'm ungrateful. You know, they make it a negative to strive for something greater or deeper. Um, so that's a way of denying yourself uh, more because you're deciding that I should just be happy with what I have. And by the way, if you feel like that, uh, somebody put that idea in your head. Who was that? Who told you you should just be happy and be grateful for what you have? Boy, talk about a limiting belief. So anyway, I have created a class called The Promise of Venus Retrograde, A Second Chance to Reclaim Your Heart's True Desires. And it's a three-week class. And of course, you get a reading with me as part of the class. And what I'm looking for in this chart, I want to see your Venus. I want to see the sun. Venus is... What makes life worth living for you? I want to see what sign your Venus is in. I want to see what house your Venus is in. I want to see the aspects, the connections to other planets that your Venus makes. I want to find out, like, what makes your life worth living? And do you know? You may be doing it without knowing it, but it's 
fascinating to see what your chart says about your heart's desires. And then Neptune is the higher octave of Venus. This is on a spiritual level. What is your heart's desires? What's your spirit's heart's desires, so to speak? So there's lots to find out. And the three areas I'm going to look at in this class are first, how you value yourself and what you value and where you fit in all this and ways to new ways to think about yourself in your life and your life to increase your level of self-esteem. You know, we have a, an epidemic of low self-esteem in this country. Do you realize that? Oh my God, the way we judge ourselves and the way we're taught to judge ourselves is atrocious. So step one, class one is how you value yourself and what you value. Class two is about relationships, romantic and otherwise. All your relationships, everyone you attract into your life is there to mirror something back to you about you. I want to teach you about this. I want to teach you about this and give you a new perspective so you don't have to operate in reaction to people, but rather you can create the relationships you want and use the information that comes in to help you evolve. And then the third and final week, we're going to look at money. You know, issues around money are never about money. Did you know that? It's true. Uh, money represents power, energy, but Venus is a money thing, and how you value yourself will determine the amount of money you allow yourself to make or have or the amount of uh, incoming you receive. So there's lots. It's a very juicy topic. I'm so looking forward to helping you and especially to know about you and what makes your life worth living because when you're really clear about this, you can organize your life around this. When you know, like, this is a top-of-the-line thing, this is life-changing for me, this is what must come first in my life, like, in order for me to really feel fulfilled and be happy, I need this. So, I so look forward to being together, and please register below. I am looking forward to connecting with you personally when we do your reading, and as always, I wish you love, blessings, awakening, and oceans of love.